so this one's just set it. I guess they didn't have enough materials to fully encase this area. Trusty crowbar. Hopefully, you don't end up like that dead crowbar. Fare thee well, little metal friend. The blood of crowbars is a delicacy in some countries. Okay, this is full on. What the heck? That is absolutely a um Friggin' Greg. This way? Yeah. My god. It's completely taken over. Kills! Seething tendrils of a hive, ever expanding. Fools! They cannot be contained. Okay. She has leverage on everyone. We've obtained the files requested and placed them onto this console for review. The files include detailed avenues of leverage against the Invictus crew. If there is no deployment in the place additional surveillance measures, we are prepared to do so. We wish your visit a pleasant one. Central Plant Service Control. Interval Code Age 27. 
Dr. Ina Volkova was directly involved in Avaria the which gained significance internationally as the incident of Krichal. For several years, she had worked as a decommissioned military airbase, a few miles outside of Krichal. Belarus, thousands in the small city were killed by an explosion at the base. An explosion meant to cover up a horrific containment breach of an alien substance being used in a research lab. Profile trial uncovered several classified experiments attributed to Belkova, with high ranking officials within the government denying knowledge of her research before a verdict could be delivered. Belkova fled Belarus and claimed asylum at the Russian Federation Embassy in Tokyo. Stationed at the embassy, ex exiled in extradition, Ina was unable to continue research. He offered her the opportunity to work without constraints, and she accepted under the terms of the strictest NDA and forced the return to Belarus upon the while her ethical integrity is questionable, her skill is undeniable. Recommend vigilance, surveillance, and determination of trust upon result. Me. Minor childhood trauma documented by licensed family psychiatrist, fear of abandonment, mild social anxiety. Graduated from drawing 2046. It's actually. another 23 years this may be our future who knows PhD Miskatonic mechanical engineering peculiar no creative practical equation to explain the theoretical underpinnings of Yang Mills and the mass gap in his sophomore year the apocryphal claim is that it was made in a single week otherwise on the market Dr. Newhart's key in our understanding of Cynthia Newhart's studies and possible whereabouts. Recommend continued surveillance of the home and office, potential asset for leverage. If Newhart ever re-emerges from isolation, recommend hiring a local Manticore office engineering position. Accept all salary requirements. Push for more information on Cynthia Newhart. Hunt. We have a scary level of one? Oh, Shane. You suck at bargaining. You really suck at bargaining. So we could have got his position. They literally had no limits to the requirements you could give. And you took a position of level one? Declan Delapour, Master's Mechanical Engineering, Minor Linguistics, California Institute of Technology, 2054. Oh wait, so this is way after 2015. Uh, offense, traffic in heroin, possession of controlled substance, involuntary manslaughter. Sentence five years, five months served. Declan Delapour has a history of substance abuse, having self-admitted to readmit. Rehabilitation, which was twice his court sentence closely coincides with divorce proceedings, which were finalized in 2048. On November 13th, 2049, Nick Declan Delapour was admitted to a mental health facility for reevaluation after an attempted suicide. Orochi recruitment has confirmed that Delapour has remained clean for over 12 years as of January 1, 2062, during which time he completed his degree with honors. Good for you, Declan. His experience significant difficulties upon graduation due to his incarceration and Orochi's offer of employment has been contingent on his willingness to maintain secrecy. Delapore is a highly motivated individual and Orochi has made arrangements to erase records of his dark past. Oh, Lucas, what the fuck? Oh. Uh, Okay. Restraining order, Mary Richardson. Temporary restraining order, Tia Anders. 
Violent restraining order, Abigail White offense, violation of restraining order, sentence 30 days, psychiatric evaluation. Dr. Van Buren's sociopathic tendencies were well documented during youth therapy. Lucas displays difficulty reading emotions and lack of empathy for others in social settings. It notes that he was admitted to therapy after his parents discovered him performing a vivisection on the family cat. Okay. Dr. Van Buren's can be used to deal with philo philology. Philology? Are vast. His dedication helped trace the evolution of Central American language to its origination. Origination. Wouldn't it be easier just saying origin point? Most recently, he has helped translate Orochi's newly discovered ancient texts and star maps. Orochi has maintained surveillance evidence of Dr. Van Buren's activities during the disappearance of Abigail White and Tia Anders. 2054 and 2055, respectively. The video show Lucas violently kidnapping and assaulting the women in his home, choking them until they suffocate and then mutilating them. Fucking hell, Lucas. Exposing of all evidence. The chances of a violent altercation are slim. Well, with an acceptable risk, risks. And Dr. Van Buren has seen the recordings. He will accept any assignment given with no question asked. He is our most leverageable asset. Oh, God. Yeah, but he's homicidal. You put a serial killer... In a confined space with four idiots. Reading that, I'm glad the bastard's dead. Oh, pardon my language. Oh, I'll try not to. I'll try not to swear as much as I can, but sometimes it pops out. Not kind of. Oh, it's another idol. It must be the fertility idol. There's a famous one. We all know who that one is. Either. I don't... Hmm. I don't know. This 
that would be an important area. <laughs> oh, uh, what is that? Dude. Uh, oh. uh, what is that? Some kind of weird tentacle goo fetus? How's it spying? So that's... Out of four words. Oh. Okay, so that, that is definitely a bloody hip crack. It's a very, very big head crab. Man. It's a dreamer. Yes. You're trembling, little boy. Let me swaddle you in viscera and wrap you in the nature of my bones. Stop it! Get out of my head! You could crack open your helmet like a walnut. And my voice is most... Not in the spaces we know, but in between. Rather not, my friend. Oh my. Expendable assets to Orochi. Wasn't enough to know all our secrets. They can't leverage us to just replace us. If the Icarus project is authorized to enact a contingency plan in case of unforeseen circumstances, that may put the Invictus crew at risk. 
A replica of the individual will be made and preserved until a severe violation is a replica? You have clones of us? Oh boy. Severe violations of company policy include the following un unauthorized transmission of operations information to an outside source regardless of content. Verbal threat of intent to control or sabotage mission, objectives or company equipment, homicide, witnessing, what? Homicide is bad, yes. Witnessing it? Like, doesn't that count the people who escaped the murderer? So, it's against the rules to not be killed? It's against the rules to die or cripple your witnessing the retrieval of or release of clone subject. I can understand why they don't want that. Please review proper safety guidelines before retrieval or release of cloned individual. Discretion is of the utmost. Importance, failure to follow protocol, guidelines will result in immediate termination. Oh wait, that was only the first one, wasn't it? Status update, primary systems active. Cloning successful, organic tissue shows no signs of deterioration through advanced aging process. Memory in implantation through nocturnal brain scan completed. Kova Ina, cryostasis active. Delapore Declan, cryostasis. New Heart Sheehan, Van Buren Lucas, Wilcox Josephine. They're all active. Does that mean me? Holy shit! That's. That's all of us! The entire Invictus crew! Are we the originals? Ina. Me. There's me. Just me. So, can I bust this and bring other me? Or am I a clone myself? Oh, there's something. My feet is. Split from a single seed. Germinated, scribbled on carbon paper, they multiply like vermin. Sentience is a glitch in the sensory organs. Pain, a cancer fed by reality. Why many of us are there? We are experimenting with the substance phenomenon entity oftentimes called filth. What Dr. Volkova prefers to call z path Each sample lightly contained and weakened with a particular regimen of radiation as per the Icarus protocols. The goal of this experiment is to see if the effects of this preternatural contaminant are the same as on, on cloned human tissue and cloned hybrid human tissue as on normal human tissue. If the effects are not the same, how do they differ? Today we applied minute amounts of the filth on clone cells using the safety protocols and observed. The effects were largely similar, similar with the molecules of the contaminant attacking the cells, however the process moved much more slowly than observed before. The filth has escaped. I've sealed my safety suit and performed all the emergency protocols. I've injected the radiated serum as I learned in the procedures. The side effects are intense but mundane and far better than the alternative. You injected radiated liquid into your body? Dear me, sir, you're gonna look terrible. You'll end up like one of those fish from Simpsons. 
all these seven-eyed wonder fish. How did this happen? There was no breach. <laughs> the theory that the filth flows even undulates in long dimensions. I said our perceived three may have merit. I have sent for help. I'm trying to not to panic. I'm recording findings. This is helpful. Of course. Sorry, friends. A bit tired. Still early time. The voices continue, I ignore them at first, congratulate myself for my rationalism, but then the voices learned to mimic my voice, and I thought they were me. And I was the voices, no, it doesn't make sense. The radiation must be working, my limbs have begun to do things on their own, but only when I'm not looking. I have to stare at my limbs very carefully, on them, or they misbehave. I've made careful regimen of making sure not to look at any one part of my, of one part for more than seven seconds. I have to keep watch on them, except for my right arm. Good arm. I'm a scientist. Scientist. Cut off arm today. Right arm. Good arm. Only uncorrupted part. Pristine. It'll be pristine forever. Stored good arm in the morgue. Code 9510. I'm scientist. Will lock myself in padded room. Everyone is safe. Scientist. 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 Good, 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 good. 9510. Oh, I forgot the GPS. I have a code. <laughs> They're not really freaky because they just look like people, but. you're going to be following me the whole time, which voice, you mind telling me a joke? You're going to have some uh, interesting humor. We should piss it off. We already know that thing can break through walls. The moon's gravity pulls so strangely. It tugs at the tides of the mind. It pulls the planet apart. Do you feel it? No. Well, I feel some resonance with it in my hand. But my mind opened like a nocturnal flower, aching for the pollinator bat. I don't believe the seance of inconceivable dimensions to worlds of elder outer eternity. Oh, how long can such shadow? A corona 
I quite like that phrase. Corona surrounds the dark. <sighs> what? This is death, isn't it? I'm going to end this one here, hope you had fun, and I'll pick up very soon.